Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We're angels on broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we, we love the makeup. makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today isn't about makeup, because it's about skin care. So we did one of these a while back, and I feel like, for me anyway, a lot has changed mm -hmm. with my skin care. And I feel like some people who are newer to the channel have been requesting a skincare update. So yeah, we're just gonna tell you are. guys what we use, when we use it, and, and why. why. And it's also winter, so I noticed last night when I went to bed, my skin felt tight for the first time. Tight? Oh, like dry. Like, I don't get that, because oh. I'm a regular bitch. I'm old too, by the way, I'm 58, and I still get pimples. You do? I, yeah, like, yeah. I had never a honker. See. I had a honker here. Really? It wasn't even a mask knee. It was a honker. Oh. And it, it went away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, so I have a drier skin type. Although I swear since coming off the pill, it's been a bit less dry. But it definitely leans dry. Mm -hmm. And very sensitive. Like, mm -hmm. I could put something on my face and it's like, oh my god, itchy. Peel my face off right now because it's so itchy. So I have to be really careful. And my skin, when I start something new, it's just like, what is this? <laughs> and loves it. Yeah. It's just like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks it in and you're lucky. Yeah, I know. It's weird. You're lucky. Um, so why don't we just sort of go step by step, mm, start with night time. Yeah, like how, okay, pretend you're wearing makeup. So I think you should cleanse your makeup off. I've never not done that all my entire life, except one time <laughs> when I was 24 years old, I drank too much, or 23, I drank too much green chartreuse at the King Eddie Ew. Hotel. And I, instead of washing my face and brushing my teeth, I went home and lay face down in my bed and threw up. So I had green everywhere. <laughs> So it's the only time I've never oh my washed God. my face after Wait, makeup. makeup. Sometimes when I don't wear makeup, it's Saturday or something, I don't wash my face. Yeah. But, yeah. I've never not, if I'm wearing makeup, never not gone to bed without taking it you off. you never had a chartreuse moment? No. And I've never not brushed my teeth at all. And that was the only ever. time I never brushed my teeth. It's a <laughs> chartreuse moment. <laughs> all that to say, so you take your makeup off first with what? Okay, well, I'm loving, like, there's that two-step process where you sort of use an oily or a balmy thing to, like, break it down. Yes. But there's a thing that we both use, a vein. It's fantastic. I, I can do one step with that. The vein is like a cleansing oil. Um, so I actually, before using this... I have to sneeze. Dun, dun, dun. That was a false alarm. <laughs> false alarm. <laughs> Before doing this event cleansing oil, I use one of those makeup erasers with a um, micellar, micellar, whatever, water. I usually use the Sensibo one or the like Garnier one. It's the best thing for me for getting eyeshadow mascara off and I wipe off like most of the makeup and then I cleanse with this cleansing oil, which by the way, Aven is like one of those companies that is at the drugstore, but it's like sort of the fancier drugstore stuff. And it's like one of those old French brands with like, I don't know, magic water or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's usually formulated pretty clinically and like good for sensitive skin. And the bottle is massive. It lasts you for like a couple of pumps. Boop. I just do that in the shower. I don't do what you just said. Yeah. I shower at night and I put that event on. Yeah. And then I sometimes just go in with a <clears throat> mild cleanser. Like I like this one from Indeed, and it comes in a white bottle. It's from the drugstore, and you oh, shake it on your palm, and it's white dust. It's like cocaine. Oh. But you just literally go like this, and then it becomes foamy. So then I Weird. just get the rest of the stuff. I love it. Wait, is it like something you activate with water? Yeah, activate it with water. I believe that people overly exfoliate. Yeah. Especially people with acne, and that can actually make you have more acne. Mm -hmm. It depends, but it and you're is supposed to use bad. not physical exfoliators. Yeah. So, but I do like that one. And then a cleanser I do love is from Sephora, from that brand Tatcha. It's oh, in yeah. the blue. You still love that yeah. one. Yeah, but I don't have it right now. This is why I love being 
BoxyCharm member because you get all kinds of skincare mm -hmm. or you can buy it from the pop-up shops. But I have so much. I had to stop my my membership for a while just because I have to, I can't get through keep everything. Up. I can't yeah. keep up. The reason I canceled mine was because I was getting too much full-size skincare that I couldn't even use. Yeah, because you can't use it, but I can. Yeah. You're someone who like has a regime, but you change up the products a little bit? Yes, I have an yeah. exact regime. And then I like to, uh, coming out of the shower, I don't do this every day, but I have something like a pretty strong glycolic acid or something. Yeah, well, that's an exfoliating a strong, yeah, step. Yeah, but I don't do that every day. Mm. And, that, and then I put the... Retinol, which is what an old lady uses for the wrinkles. Yeah. But a lot of people like you use a niacin. No mind. Yeah. So after I do my wipe off with the cloth and the micellar water and then use that cleansing oil, I then take a cotton pad and I have two toners, one of which I use every day. And it's from, I'm going to put it up here, but it's the licorice toner and it's a Korean Korean skincare, which is that what got me into toners, and it's actually one of my favorite um, skincare steps. Don't skimp on the toner, and mm. it's so soothing and so smells oh, delicious. And I feel like um, you know, if I have a little bit of extra makeup on, like with the cotton round, it takes that off. And then I have this toner from Trajector. I don't know. It's again another Korean one, and it's like for sensitive skin, but it's like an acid, very mild acid. So every mm. third day, I use that too as my exfoliating steps. So that's two days off, one day on. Two days off, one day on mm -hmm. for that mild. Exfoliation. Yeah, my toner that I use is strong one after I cleanse. Is by Murad, and it's the strong one. It's at, It's on support. High percentage. Yeah. And I don't use it every day. Yeah. But then after the, my toners, my sort of serum -y thing is the yeah, niacinamide. My. I was watching Teresa's dead. She's like, I always have trouble with this word. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Niacinamide. But it uh, helps with, I think, like sort of like calming down the skin, helps with acne. And I just use one little drop. Don't use a ton. I find like less is more. You know what? That's actually what I've been found in general with skincare. Less is more in terms of like product use like with like the exfoliant toner don't overdo it yeah, with the serums don't overdo it like try just like a drop and like build it up to see where your skin is at but if i use like two drops sometimes that'll be just like weirdly too much for my skin it's really weird so yeah. i use a retinol oil at night oil. yeah it's by sunday riley Ooh, it's in a blue see. container and it's got this strange smell but like that i got ordered from boxycharm twice and oh. it is it is expensive, but not from Boxy not from Charm. Boxy Charm. And it's got an interesting smell. It's an oil. Hmm. And then I don't moisturize if I use the oil. Okay. So my moisturizer, I don't even give a shite. Well, it seems like you're going to have to give it a shite because of... Well, I give a shite, but I don't care what brand it is. Oh, you just I've got like Sunday on. Riley. Oh, okay. I got a bunch. Mm. I just a light one. I like the Tatcha one, but I use that, that one in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, moisturizers are weirdly actually one of those things that I find I will be weirdly intolerant to. And I think I'm suspect of fragrances in like moisturizers. Maybe that's it. So I've been sticking to this one from Aven and it's actually called like a bomb. It's like an anti-itch <laughs> bomb, but it's like a beautiful, nice light not like medium mm. moisturizer yeah and it makes my skin so soft it's a massive bottle again because sometimes you don't forever. need you think to moisturize because you're dry you think you need something thick and heavy yeah but that could be not the answer it's true this one's like on the medium side i guess an oily person's skin would be like oh lord whereas like someone like me like it's it it's not like my skin sucks it up and it's all gone it's like this perfect amount of like leaving a nice moisture the yeah, like feeling it, your skin is but, tight yeah but it's good because i wear it under makeup like easily it doesn't yeah interrupt. like the brands i like from moisturizer are like glam glow sunday riley well the morning i mean is your regime oh, i love my morning different? regime because it's while i'm pooping literally i'm just there and i get my pad and i boop boop it's up there okay. why would you do two things at once why wouldn't you do two I things at once? Never rush. So you go poop, 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 because I've got the best from Costco 
micellar water. It's the oh, big jug okay. and you just go with your pad. Yeah. And then I take off all the grease and sleepy oh, residue. Grease. And usually there's nothing on. Sometimes once in a while you can catch like you, you might have left something there. Yeah. And then, so I put it over my face, and then I use a toner. I use the one, always, always, the pixie one, the, I think glow it's... Glow tonic. Glow tonic. On the other side of the pad, glow tonic. Boop, 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 boop. And then I use a vitamin C serum, which is the one I'm using currently, by Pharmacy, another brand I love from mm -hmm. Sephora. Mm-hmm. I like Pharmacy, and I love Drunk Elephant, but I heard they're problematic. Oh, shit. Everybody is. Yeah. Funny. And then do you moisturize in the morning? Oh. Yeah. So then I get up. You wipe. <laughs> I wipe. I think I'm going to get one of those tushy yes. things for my new loft. Yeah. Make sure you get one that has a warm water option. Durr. I'm not going to get cold water. <laughs> I want one. Badly. What are they called? Tushy is one. Okay. I'm going to get one. Mm. So I'm going to tushy and... <laughs> So, yeah, so I don't use even bother using water, you know. I don't wash my face with a cleanser. Yeah. Because I don't believe in that. I know I had a facialist who, like, screamed <laughs> at me. And I was like, okay, bitch. If you're not washing But who's laughing face. now? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess she's laughing. <laughs> she's probably laughing. <laughs> yeah. Away. But she, she's a facialist who is in contact with a lot of lasers. And that's something... At my age, I should be uh, interested in, but I'm not. Lasers. Lasers, they're all kinds of boo boo. I, I want to, like, I got all jolly now, but I got to figure that Does out. Does that should do anything? Like cool sculpts, low walls? Well, whatever. the cool sculpt, something happened with Linda Evangelista, oh, yeah. and I don't want that. I feel like she's my model sister, you know? Like, if yeah. I was a model, I'd be her. I feel terrible about her. I want to take her under my soft downy wing and cut her hair. <laughs> Yeah, like, whatever happened, I'm just so sorry. But I'm sure she's still beautiful and she's just saying... Yeah, apparently she had a cool sculpt go wrong. Something... We can't say it was cool sculpt. We don't... Because we, we currently don't know. But it's somewhere out there on the internet. <laughs> we figured it out. But anyway, my friend can do, do a lot of stuff. And I think you can overdo a lot of, like, acid peels and this and that. That your skin becomes too sensitive to the sunlight... So I don't want to do that. That's why I don't do it, a lot of this exfoliation and peeling thing, even though my skin could take it. Yeah. I don't want to do it too much because I did notice this particular year getting agey spotties. Age spots? Really? I, oh, I got them on my hand now. I used yeah. to brag about not having them. I got a couple. Tiny. Oh. Wow. They're coming. Yeah, yeah, oh, age. Wow. It's coming, baby. I'm the same with the morning in terms of I don't cleanse. Again, I, I just think it might be a bit overkill, but I do splash water. Feels nice, you know. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. And I tone with but that. But you shower licorice. in the morning, too. I do yeah, not. Yeah, that's true. That's I did my I shower my at night like Brooke Shields told me to back <laughs> in the day. Yeah, I usually shower in the morning. I shower sometimes morning and night. Ooh. Yeah. I used to do that. Yeah. I like to be clean. <laughs> I like to be clean. Especially too. after the Especially morning, the tushy. Mm. Yeah. I gotta clean. Yeah. Uh. This is why the tushy thing is very important. <laughs> but then after I get out of the shower or splash my face, if for whatever reason I didn't shower, I use my cotton pad and that toner I mentioned, the licorice one. And that's a nice base for my moisturizer balm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sunscreen. Yeah, so then before the makeup, I use the the sunscreen by Super Goop, the glowy oh, one. Yeah. And if it's a shitey out, like I don't always use sunscreen yeah. in the winter. I do it in the summer, but like uh, hmm. the I one don't enjoy it. <laughs> the one I use now is La Roche Posay. The one in the little square bottle. Oh, I used to use that. Yeah. yeah. It lasts for a long time. It lasts time. for a long time and it's sort of like a moisturizer seen quality it feels mm -hmm. like a light moisturizer in a way so i like so that if one. you use sunscreen then do you use a primer before foundation well or? i always just use charlotte tilbury hollywood mm. flawless filter always every day never not always forever for uh, ever i do i don't prime within like i don't use primers. oh sometimes i use the elf putty primer a little bit and then this yeah that's it 
Do you pray? Uh, no. Sometimes, no. Depends but on it's the not day. my it's not my priority in life. Mm-hmm. My priority in life is to get the prep the skin. Yeah. And then give it some kind of base, be it a moisturizer or just the sunscreen in the summer. Mm-hmm. Like I don't need moisturizer in the summer. I feel like everyone should always moisturize. Why well, must Okay. Because it's like, it's a different thing than oil. Like, isn't moisturizers usually to, like, help with water retention in your skin, which in turn helps it keep it supple? Even if you're an oily skinned person, you're supposed to find a moisturizer mm. that's good for you because oil is different than water. Yeah. What's changed a lot from the last time we did our skincare was I talked a lot about oils, but I've navigated away from them a lot more just because, yeah, my skin has been a bit less dry than it once was and a little bit more acne prone since coming off the pill, but also because I discovered I wasn't washing my masks. I'm such an idiot. So, I mean, since I uh, started washing my masks, the acne's mostly gone away, but I haven't been using as many oils. Speaking of masks, like, I used to be all gung-ho on not, you know, fucking masks, but masks. You know, oh masks. Some, yeah, but do you do that any of that? Oh, like, like do you skincare do any, masks. Yeah. Oh, like no. I love the idea of it, but I've never found one that. I works have some, for me. and I do sometimes on a Sunday. Think of it. Mm. Like I'll do it on a Saturday or Sunday, not during the week. Yeah, no, I don't. The only one I I really ever kind of do was um, our friend Beth, who has yeah. knockout colors, had yeah. this gave us this little pink clay things a little powder and it's like french pink clay which just detoxifies your skin leaves it soft so i actually have liked to mix that with water and put it on my skin feels really nice after that but i used it that all up that's kind of what indeed that indeed white powder does yeah i like to use actually she does do a cbd oil i need to mention like it's a skin oil i like to use it if i have a leisurely morning I'll put that, I'll just kind of massage it in. Even use the roller. Yeah. Because it'll depuff you. Yeah. I really like to use oils when I'm, yeah, rolling. and But in general, when I put my skincare on, I'm just trying to like, what do you call it? Drain the lymph nodes. I'm always Mm. like doing this. And I'm constantly, lately, like this is just a separate thing, trying to lift up these muscles because I just catch myself doing this all the time. I'm such a grumpy bitch. Botox. I was going to say, I want to get Botox again. Before, I didn't get it here, but I want to do it. It's just a feeling. I just don't want... I don't like that feeling. It feels tense, and I don't like it. That's why I like the Botox. Yeah. Because it does change your mood. People think, oh, it's so vain. Well. Yeah. I want to... I don't care. Just feel calm up there. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of it. This skincare regime has been my favorite ever skincare regime and it's not changed for a while i haven't felt the need to explore anything except vitamin c i am kind of curious about that oh like the serum for it's supposed to brighten your skin yeah because i do have hyperpigmentation from past acne and it's just never fucking gone away so i think i'm gonna get it try and get into some vitamin yeah try the inky list or the ordinary i ordered an ordinary it's coming in my next sephora order yeah, so let us know in the comments down below any of your skincare tips and tricks. Uh, if there's any products maybe you recommend for us that based on what we mentioned or if there's any questions you have. I feel like I've been on quite a skincare Take it to your journey. decollete, ladies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I started to do, too. Like, I, do, I bring yeah, things yeah. down. You bring it down. Every, yeah, you should bring see it down. my decollete. Is it good or bad? Are you not happy with it? No, I don't know. know. It, People I age here like so quick. So I yeah. cover it up. Sunscreen here too in the summer. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. It's oh. time for ladies like me to cover things up. <laughs> Wasn't that from Sex, Sex in the, the City? City? It was Carrie. Carrie, when she was going to get her cover done and Samantha dresses her up oh, in yeah. feathers and what. Well, what? that was an ugly outfit. Oh, Samantha. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today. Um, We hope you have a good week and a good rest of your holidays. We hope you stay safe and healthy. Stay witchy and stay bitchy. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye, witches. witches.